Three million Americans could be losing their sight to glaucoma right now. Eye drops work for most, but they're costly and people often forget to take them. In Lifeline tonight, a permanent solution. A warning for you, however, you will see some graphic eye surgery, so if you're squeamish, be prepared to look away. Just to help prevent infection. Joyce Madela is in to see her eye doctor, but in her mind's eye, she's envisioning her favorite sights back home in the North Woods near Ely. Yeah, it's a very beautiful lake. I was out there last weekend, and I was just looking around, and that thought crossed my mind that some, maybe someday I wouldn't be able to see this. You want your head back down a little? Joyce has battled sight-stealing glaucoma for 30 years, and her medicated eye drops are not controlling it as well as they once did. In some patients, the fluid pressure in the eye is too high, and it injures the nerve that carries all vision from the eye to the brain. This nerve has 1.2 million fibers. If the expensive drops fail, lasers are often the next step to allow excess fluids to drain. Eye surgeon Thomas Samuelson says in a healthy eye, a ring-like canal keeps fluid pressure safe. The natural drainage system of the eye is at the junction of the sclera, which is the white of the eye, and the clear cornea. Right at the intersection there, the drain passes circumferentially around the eye. Can you put that chin up a little bit, Joyce? But for millions of people like Joyce, that canal collapses or clogs up. To access the canal, Dr. Samuelson will first slice two tiny flaps in the eye wall. His scalpel is barely larger than the tip of a needle. Next, a hair-thin catheter made by eye science is inserted into the canal to dilate it. You can see where it's going thanks to a flashing orange light at the tip. Dr. Samuelson became a fan of this procedure after helping to test the device in clinical trials. Finally, a stent is threaded into the canal to keep it open. It's unique because it helps restore fluid flow in the natural drainage system. Traditional glaucoma surgery completely bypasses the natural drain. Dr. Samuelson says this canalplasty is not for every patient, but generally those who are younger and those whose disease is in the earlier stages, when there's still the luxury of time to try to preserve the natural drainage system of the eye. Joyce is in awe at the technology that may save her sight. The eye is so tiny and so delicate that it's just surprising they can do anything. It's really wonderful that they've come up with something this ingenious. Pretty impressive. And you know, once nerve damage occurs, it cannot be reversed. So it really is critical to catch glaucoma as early as possible. And because there are usually no symptoms until it's too late, regular eye exams are very important. If you want more information about glaucoma's warning signs and treatments, just click on wccocom links.